So this story is all revolved around this girl. We're going to say her name is Samantha. So I started dating her and I had the worst first impressions just ever. I screwed up so many dates and so many good opportunities that I was just shocked that we were still dating, that things worked out between us two because she was just so nice. Like, I'm not kidding. I had no idea what I was doing and I didn't know what it was like to be a good boyfriend. I was just the worst and she put up with me and she was really nice and she helped me through it all and she taught me so many good things. It was awesome. I will never forget my time with her. Anyways, we had been getting super close and I remember one night I was like, I think it is time. <laughs> I was all like, it's been a long time. I'd never kissed her. A part of me was had my old, um, old fashioned mentality of being like, I'll just never kiss until I get married. And then I was like, wait, but I do want to kiss her. And I was like, should we get married? <laughs> I was like, We're not ready for marriage, but I still want to kiss her. So there's a little bit of a dilemma there. I had known her so well that I was, I knew that I wanted to kiss her. And so, um, this was going to be my first kiss. So I was very nervous. I went and bought like every candle they have at Dollar General. I bought all of their mints, gum, and Tic Tacs. <laughs> I just tried to get everything I could to get ready for a good first kiss. And to do all the preparation I could to not screw it up. Um, and my plan was to have a little bit of a picnic, light some candles, have it all nice and like a great scene and stuff. Um, and just set the mood and have my first kiss like that. So I had everything ready for it. I invited her on, onto the picnic and Samantha, of course, was like, heck yeah, she was down. So I go to her house and I'm just waiting for her while she's getting ready. And I'm just standing awkwardly in the kitchen like most boyfriends do when they're waiting for the girl. Um, and her mom comes over to me and she's like, hey, come sit down. And I awkwardly walk over to the living room and sit down on a chair across from her. And she's just kind of like eyeballing me with some death stare. <laughs> I don't know why. It's always a little bit awkward with um, like the girl's parents. But anyways, I'm sitting there just awkwardly. And she's just staring me down, looking at me. And she kind of leans in and talks a little bit quietly. And she's like, so how come you haven't kissed my daughter yet? <laughs> <laughs> I instantly, my heart just starts pounding and I'm like looking, wondering if I could just run away or something. And I just, oh, I felt so uncomfortable. I just did not know what to do. And she's just staring at me and she's like, you've been dating my daughter for like years now. I, I don't know like what you want. Do you, do you need my permission? Cause you have my permission. I thought letting you date her is enough for you to know you can kiss her. And I just am sweating, <laughs> not sure what to say. And so her mom tells me I should kiss her daughter. Like, she tells me to do it. And I'm just like, I don't know what to think of it. Samantha and I, Samantha's ready and we leave. And on the drive, the whole drive to the picnic area, I'm just like, what the freak just happened? Like, what the heck? I, I didn't know what to think of it. It was just like, I couldn't get it off my mind. We get to the picnic area and it was great. Right at sunset, we lay down the blanket. Um, light all these candles. I had, I had bought way too many candles. We had enough candles. We could have done like a satanic ceremony if we wanted to. We could have like summoned the dead. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, we get them all lit. It was beautiful. I even had romantic music playing and on my little speaker. And it was just the perfect moment. We we're all cuddled together, just getting super close. And it was the perfect moment to kiss her. It was like, Everything was right. It seemed like it was just everything was working for me. And I remember just leaning in closer and closer. And right before I went in for the kiss, I was just like, No. No. Mm -mm. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I, I felt like I was like screaming at myself on the inside, like, just freaking kiss her already. It's been three years you have been waiting for this it's like ah, oh, i want to do it so bad but something inside of me was just like uh, -uh nope i ain't gonna do it like <laughs> i don't know what it was i just i couldn't bring myself to do it in that moment 
But the story doesn't end there. It took me a little while, kind of like I had this battle inside of my head and I kept on thinking like, if I kiss her, am I doing it because she, like people are asking me to, people want me to, like, is it really my decision? If I, I if I kiss her, I feel like I was doing it because someone now asked me to kiss her. And if I don't kiss her, then I'm doing it because uh, people are telling me to kiss her. And so I'm not doing it because they're telling me to, but I want to, you know? So it was like, I had this dumb, perplexed dilemma in my head and I was way overthinking everything like I do, which was just, no, I should have just listened to my heart and just went with how I feel, knowing that it's gonna be fine. It's, it's all gonna be okay. I don't need to stress about it. In these situations, I feel like I need to just follow my heart more. But for some reason, my brain just comes and just panics everything. It just drives me crazy. But anyways, so it wasn't too long after that that I decided, okay, it really is my decision. I'm doing this for me. I know that I want to, not because anyone's telling me to. And I felt pretty confident that it was my choice. So um, it was, I think that Friday, I decided like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do it. It's fine. I don't care what anyone says. I'm just going to kiss her. I had already plans to hang out with her and we hung out for like the majority of the day. And when the, the day was kind of coming to an end, we decided to go on a drive. And as we were coming back to my house, listening to music and I'm just leaning in closer to her. It's a really good feel. And like everything was fine. Like it would have been perfectly good to go in and kiss her. But again, my brain just had to like attack me and just throw more things at me to just make it more stressful than it already is. And I just could not help but keep looking and glancing at my house and I could see the windows and for some reason I kept thinking like my whole I kept picturing my whole family just staring outside of the window just watching me <laughs> all creepy like that oh, I don't know why my mind just has to give me a hard time oh, all the time so I asked her to just pull down the road a little bit and so we drive a little bit and we park again and now everything is perfect everything was great the music was nice we were getting super close and i'll never forget a song started playing by ed sharon and the lyrics said something along the lines of a first kiss on a friday night and i remember thinking like dang it's friday night like this is going to be my first kiss on a friday night first kiss in 21 years i had had virgin lips for 21 years you guys that is so long, I feel like. And it all built up to this moment. And three years with this girl building up to this moment of finally kissing her. So yeah, I was nervous. <laughs> I was very nervous. But I told myself at the end of this song, you got to do it. I don't care if the whole world is crumbling apart around you. I don't care if your family comes and starts banging on that window. At the end of this song, you're going to lean over and you're going to kiss her. And I did. I leaned over and I kissed her. And it was amazing, you guys. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for, for watching and have a great day. And we